So since I couldn't get out into the mud for you guys for this video, I thought I'd throw together a little reminiscing of a really good video from the past on my channel. There's a good number of you who've probably seen it before, but there's probably an even bigger number of you who've never seen this video. So I thought it'd be worth it to throw in some highlights of this video and give you guys a little look at it. So I've been getting a lot, a lot of questions about where did Brayden go? Where did the guy with the black ram go? Well guys, the easiest way to explain it is that basically he just didn't want to do videos anymore. He didn't want to mud his truck anymore and make videos on YouTube for the channel. He's entitled to do whatever he wants, right? I'm not gonna make him do something he doesn't want to do. There's really not that much to it. He didn't want to do the videos, so he's not doing the videos and that's why you haven't seen him. So it's pretty much all it is, guys. So enjoy this old video of when we went out mudding onto this one trail and he got his truck stuck in the swamp pretty fucking bad here. And it's a pretty interesting video, so check it out, guys. He's got a Bluetooth drive shaft. You just it's, put it in yesterday? It's off right now. Now that I just hit Bluetooth on, here it comes. See, it's loading right now, see? Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> Trail gets a bit better. There's some water and shit down there, so I'm about to fly through this shit. <laughs> no! You weren't lying when you said you were going to be the one to get stuck, eh? Odds are I'll get stuck first. Alright, here we go! Holy fuck. Oh. <laughs> That's it! What the fuck? Well, this guy's got fucking balls. Already. That's sketchy, man. Yeah. I'm not liking that. <laughs> what a fucking guy. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to slam in reverse. I was like, yeah, I don't know. Oh, he's just got the balls to go right through. Stuck in the fucking swamp right now. I said the back through all that shit. Fuck. <laughs> well, still can't get him out. This is not good. We're gonna have to go all the way up there. Six and a half hours late. Well, we're absolutely fucked, or he is at least. Truck's still sitting in the water. Is this the worst thing you've ever done to your truck, bro? Yes, it is. <laughs> so, lesson learned, if you don't have boggers, don't go into the fucking swamp. Yeah. Actually, I don't think boggers would have helped. Hey, man, I made it out just fine. Usually what happens when you can't get them out. <laughs> How's the water? <laughs> the cable reaches. Long winch cable and four nylon straps and then a chain. And he's finally all the way there. He's trying to struggle with it underwater right now, trying to hook that bitch up. Oh, that mud in the fucking wheel well. Turn it off, bro! Oh, she's just full of cabbage. Holy shit, bro! The rims are full of that shit. How do you feel now that it's finally out, bro? Fuck, I actually care about talking to the camera now. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that little throwback video. 
It was definitely a crazy mudding adventure at that time. And I hope to experience more mudding adventures like this in the future, but not quite to this degree. I still want to be able to drive my truck home at the end of the day at one piece. I mean, that's always our goal, right? And also a huge shout out to everybody out there who's been purchasing our LED lighting products. Things from our new product line. We got light bars in all sizes, eight inch, 52 inch, whatever. We got LED pods. I'm pretty sure the best seller has actually been the rock lights, the eight piece rock light set. We actually have a 15% off sale going on at all of our rock lights right now. I try to honestly price every Thing on my website as affordable as possible. There's people out there who are charging $300 for a light bar. There's people out there charging almost $300 for rock light sets. And I'm here just shaking my head. Like honestly, the product quality is so similar, if not the exact same. And people are charging so much money for stuff. I personally know the struggle of building the truck. It's very expensive to do, and I've done it over the course of years. So if what I do with my business allows people to get mods for their truck for lower prices and be able to do more things to the truck and have more fun with their truck, then sure as hell I'm gonna do it. And I will always make sure that I have very, very fair pricing on all of my products for you guys forever that's just the way it'll be so for all of my viewers and my subscribers out there if you have not taken a look at our products yet and our website I think you'll be very surprised with how fair our pricing is and how good the products actually are side note every single product that I sell I have on my truck or have tested it out on my truck for a period of time so I know it's good quality product that's something that I'm doing differently in my company than what a lot of other LED lighting product companies do and if there's anything I can do and my business can do to help you guys get more goodies for your truck please let me know I'd be more than happy to help you guys feel free to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the future videos and with that being said i'll see you guys in the next video